Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I wanted to make an update video. Uh, I haven't made one for like four months. And yeah, I'm not better. I don't know why I said that, <laughs> like I was a comedian or something. But yeah, I'm not better. Um, yeah, it's been super rough. Uh, it, since I last updated, um, that was in March. March was ridiculously hard. I was like overstimulating myself, which makes me feel a lot worse. And so I was just extremely sensitive to sound and feeling insane and everything was bad. Um, like basically it was just the worst, not the worst of the, uh, it was pretty bad. Uh, and then April, April was crazy. Every month has been crazy. Like I've been trying to, I'm, I have like these brain injuries. Like the reason why I'm non-functional is because I've hit my head um, so many times. And now the last one I got is just like, has put me out of the world. And um, yeah, it's just crazy. I can't even like think right now. I Most of the time I can't even talk because it's too hard. It's like to it sometimes, like I get so sensitive to sounds because of the yeast and the concussion and the candida or whatever. Um, but from the last concussion, it's made everything ridiculous. But yeah, I get so sensitive. I can't even talk. I just have to whisper. And if anybody is like talking around me, it will feel like a shout, like it feels like they're like shouting in my ear. Um, that's just one of the symptoms, but yeah, I've been trying <laughs> so hard, like I'm so sensitive to stimulation that I, I just like sit, sit on the couch all day and like, it's not, it's not like I'm, like I have to do that or else it's really complicated. Like because of the way my gut is impacting my brain. If I, if I like eat a meal, especially a meal that has carbs and if it's not, like sometimes it's okay, like if it's digesting perfectly that I can move around a little bit while there's food in my stomach. But for the most part, I just have to kind of sit all day and just try to relax. Um, because if I move around while there's food in my stomach, then it starts to not digest as well and then I start to get all my concussion symptoms, um, like all, it, like it hurts right now a little bit, um, but it'll like, it'll get really painful, but it'll also like all my sensations are get messed up. So like my arm will be right here, but it'll feel like I'm like curling and pulling every direction. Like, and it feels like my legs are disappearing sometimes and it feels like like my motion, my movement gets messed up because I hit my cerebellum, which is like motion. And then I've hit my head so many times and there's so much like damage. Like, I don't, it's not permanent damage. Like, but I've just hit my head so many times that there's so many crazy symptoms that I feel that it's just so hard. Like it makes, like my nervous system is so, overactive most of the time and it seems like I'm gonna go I I'm this whole time I've not the whole time but for the last many months I've been not going to any doctors but I it was getting so bad that we had to do something like I was just crying hopeless because um, I was eating a lot of fruit and I was actually having juice but <laughs> That like whatever the yeast is feeding or whatever it is, it just um, the worse it gets, the more hopeless I get, and it's like crazy. Um, 
but yeah, like I'm, I'm, I need to figure out the naturopath tested for candida albicans in my bloodstream and it wasn't there. And so I know I have a lot of yeast symptoms and my gut is like the whole issue because I can turn on and off my symptoms of my concussion with the gut, with my, with, like if I eat sugar or carbs that don't digest well and my tongue will get white, maybe not like a candida tongue, like, like crazy, but it's like, it does get white and that only happens really with carbs. And I can actually turn like, depending on how it goes, like if I've, if I ate like, if I've had a perfectly digesting, perfect digestion day, then I could actually, I wouldn't feel like any dissociation or depersonalization or derealization. But if I, like the, the worse the candida is feeding or whatever it is, then the worse I, like the more unreal the world feels and I feel so alone. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, which is kind of crazy because I've been trying to heal from depersonalization for years and like there's been times when I felt better and times where I've just been not feeling better and I've been focusing on the emotional, um, which is important, but it seems like for me, a big part of the derealization and depersonalization is simply just my nervous system being super overactive and maybe even like the like the chemicals being created by the candida or whatever is in my gut like all that makes my nervous system more overactive and the more it's overactive the more i feel dp but i felt it like go away but it it just depends on my gut which is pretty it's it gives me a lot of hope <laughs> like I can I've been trying to heal that for a while and I've felt it go away and I now I kind of know why um, but yeah it's just been really hard like I've been trying to focus fruit has been like the biggest thing that's helped me but it's also been the biggest thing that makes me feel worse most of the time and, or any carbs in general uh, like if the fruit is ripe then it digests perfectly and I start to clear out and it feels like I'm healing. But most of the time the fruit has just been inconsistent and unripe and not good. That's, yeah. Like if I'm eating, like sometimes the bananas are picked unripe and then it's like mostly just starch or not even yeah, it will just feed the candida or whatever. I'm just gonna call it candida because I don't know specifically what it is. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get tested to figure out what's in what is what bacteria or whatever or parasites or whatever is in my gut that's causing this. Um, but yeah, so like if fruit is ripe, then it works. But if fruit is not ripe, then it it it's worse. Um, because it just doesn't digest the same. Like eating an unripe watermelon is like worse, can be worse than eating decently cooked potatoes or something like that. And so it's just complicated because I need to, like, if I eat, my eating, if I'm eating a lot of fat, then it's just super digesting slow. And I need to be clearing things out and I've been up in the probiotics I've been focusing on a lot of fermented foods like sauerkraut um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start making my own sauerkraut or try to I'm gonna, I, I tried water kefir before I'm gonna try it again I've been taking just a lot of probiotics um, it does help uh, not the food itself seems to be the biggest factor in how I'm digesting, but the probiotics definitely help. And I know that I don't like produce enough stomach acid, so I've been trying to do apple cider vinegar, but the apple cider vinegar also kind of slows things down sometimes. Like it holds the food in my stomach, it seems like. 
so it like I'll eat a meal and then I need to eat again so, but then I'll eat again and then there's already there's still food in there so everything just gets messed up and then it'll start to like ferment or feed the yeast or whatever and then my concussion symptoms get crazy and I feel insane and yeah it's just really complicated because of these concussions like my if I would have never hit my head I would be able to at least be in the world but I'm not like I'm pretty much housebound 99% of the time like I'm most of the time I'm just sitting on the couch trying to basically like meditating on my symptoms or meditating trying to quiet my mind and yeah it's um, it's been rough um, there's pockets of there's like glimpses where it's like whoa things are digesting well and like every time I've had those glimpses every time I've had uh, every time I've had those glimpses uh, I've been trying to like reproduce that do that again or like do that keep doing that and then I'll heal and that's why I was focusing on bananas so much because I had felt them as like whoa I'm healing but the consist like the the main problem is the consistency because I'm so sensitive I need things to be not necessarily perfect but like they need to be right and like even if I eat the perfect meal if I start to like if someone's home and they're making a lot of noise or something or they're talking a lot it'll um, overstimulate me and then the yeast will start to feed and just really really complicated and hard and like depressing most of the time but it's I'm gonna try to I'm still gonna try eating a lot of fruit because I know that it like if it's ripe then it's good so it's the perfect time of the year to be eating fruit because it's there's gonna be a lot of local fruit that's hopefully good I don't necessarily need fruit to heal like I felt myself feel better not eating fruit I felt myself feeling better eating beans um, but it <laughs> it's just complicated like this is one of the, like when I say that you'd be like okay like then just do that repeatedly over and over again but that's the thing like when I've been eating beans um, I've also been eating a lot of sauerkraut and sometimes the sauerkraut that you get from the store um, like the raw sauerkrauts sometimes they're really good and really sour and you can tell that they they just like have a lot of probiotics and like I could eat that with meal like with food that's not quite cooked as well and it'll digest really well and my like I'll it'll it's like I'll feel better and it'll digest perfectly but the sauerkrauts have been very inconsistent uh, like you'll get one, one jar or whatever, and it's pretty good, like pretty sour and acidic and you can tell like that it's good, but then most of the time it's just been, it tastes really flat. Like it tastes like nothing really. It's like, yeah. So it's just, the problem has been inconsistency of like the food and everything. So at, th at this point, I'm just trying to take everything into my own hands. Like I'm not doing, like I'm preparing my own beans. I'm not getting canned beans. Um, like I'm preparing, I I've been preparing all my food, but yeah, I'm just trying to take everything and do it my own, do it myself. Cause I need to just, find find what works and just do it over and over again like I wish the fruit was consistent but it's not 
it won't digest perfectly every time if it's not ripe or sweet and like yeah that's just been a big problem that's like been the main problem is consistency i know i can heal i felt it it's just it's just really challenging and it gets really hopeless <laughs> like i feel really hopeless a lot of the time because of it just seems like nothing is working and not only that like but I, like i can turn on the emotion of hopelessness by feeding the yeast or whatever so it like helps me to realize that a lot of the em a lot of the emotions that i feel are basically just the crazy chemicals being created by the yeast or not by the yeast or in my body and brain like I, i'll feel i feel so happy and so relaxed and calm and just good when things are digesting well but if they're not then like if i eat a bunch of potatoes and they weren't cooked enough or I didn't take enough probiotics or whatever like I like it's like a switch I can it turn like I switch from being okay to being hopeless and sad and depersonalized like it's all like it all goes up and down depending on my digestion and same with the concussion so yeah it's this has been a long video I don't know when I'll update again. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, I went to the doctor and my got tested for, she tested a bunch of different levels and my testosterone is super low. Um, my, my good cholesterol is low, which kind of makes sense. I've been eating really low fat for a while. I think that's a part of it and probably with the, testosterone too i'm really skinny like i'm really skinny like you you can't really tell on camera you can only really tell if i was standing next to somebody or if you saw me in person but i'm like really skinny uh my body is just not wanted to eat a lot <laughs> um most of the time my appetite is pretty low sometimes it picks up and that's usually a good sign um, I've been trying to do more activity lately in the mornings, like go get the mail or drive to the store, um, water the lawn and stuff or sit outside. But yeah, I'm, I'm super skinny and yeah, that's fine. Um, I, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. My brain is kind of weird right now. Sometimes I feel, sometimes I feel like happy and sad, like out of control. Like, like I'll feel kind of happy, but also I kind of want to cry, like sometimes. And yeah, I, it's like weird. Like it's, it feels like kind of like a drunk, I want to say drunk kind of feeling. But I'm, it's just weird. Like, my body and brain is so weird. Like, yeah, this video is dragging on. I'll just leave it with this. One thing that's helped is just imagining my life as, like, a movie. <laughs> like, as a book that I'm going to, like, write about later after I'm healed. Like, it helps to just... All the crazy characters that you see in a movie they go through ridiculous stuff and they feel hopeless but they get there or at least I mean yeah like that's part of it so like you just gotta try to be with it and it's hard to accept it but it is so yeah, this is a long video. Just wanted to update. Peace.